Hey everyone, in this video we're taking a trip to one of my favorite places, the salvage yard. I need a few things for the Jetta and the BMW, plus I want to find a couple things for a friend's car. Luckily we have a pretty good salvage yard nearby. I visit them a lot. They don't sponsor the channel, but in my opinion they're the best salvage yard in the area. Anyway, let's take a look around and see what we can find. First I'm going to look for a couple parts for a friend's car. It's an early 2000s Ford Taurus. They need the EGR control solenoid and the hood release handle. Well, isn't that convenient? Oh, they broke it. I struck out on the Taurus, but the Mercury Sable is basically the same car. So let's see if this one has what we need. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I'm looking for. And it appears to be fully intact. I wonder why they zip tied it like that. Anyway, let's get this guy. Next on our list is this guy. It appears to be good too. So far so good. Now I'm going to look for some spring clamps. The BMW uses a lot of worm drive clamps and I'm not a big fan of those. So I'm going to get some spring clamps to replace some of them. I'd like to have an assortment of different sizes just in case. I was able to find a bunch of them on various import cars. Hondas, Toyotas, Nissans, etc. Wait, what's this? I found a wrench. And it's 10 millimeter. Today must be my lucky day. Next on the agenda is a headlight switch for the Jetta. I didn't find any Mark IV Jettas in the yard, but there were some Beetles. I think they use the same headlight switch, so I'll grab one of those. Hey, check that out. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, somebody beat me to it. That's the headlight connector. Next. Let's try this one. Oh, man. These things do not want to come out. What the crap? There's more than one way to skin a cat. I don't like breaking stuff, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Unfortunately, all the headlight switches had the same problem. I thought that was odd, but for some reason it didn't occur to me that maybe I was doing something wrong. Okay, so I'm an idiot. When I was at the junkyard, I was trying to remove the headlight switches by pushing in and turning them to the left. But you're actually supposed to turn them to the right. Like that. Anyway, moving on. And last but not least, I wanted to find another intake manifold for the BMW. My car is a 330i. And I think the 3.0-liter engine uses a different intake from the other engines. I didn't want to take any chances, but thankfully there was one E46 330i in the yard. And last but not least, I'm looking for an intake manifold off a 330i. And that's exactly what this is. Somebody made my job easier. They already removed the throttle body and the diesel valve. They already removed most of the intake bolts too. Awesome. I'll be back in a sec. I stripped everything off the intake, sensors, throttle body, etc. Because the salvage yard charges for every little thing separately. And I didn't want to pay extra for stuff that I didn't need. Can you guess what I'm going to use that intake manifold for? Comment below. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.